What's up, pilots? Pilot83 here. The fourth great week in a row, so a month now, of releases on the Xbox. We are getting the planes finally. Two good planes dropped tonight. We got the EA7 Edge of the Optica and the P38 Lightning, which I'll be reviewing both tonight. But first, let's start with the Optica. Just because I really love that it has companions in it. So, this plane, 1999 made by um just for uh made by who made this plane got friends yes i was about to say just friends <laughs> got friends so really neat little aircraft seeing this plane upside down like that um i know this plane is slower so i'm very curious <laughs> if that is possible so it says, combining the visibility of a helicopter with the outstanding slow flying capabilities, the original concept of the Edgeley EA-7 Optica was a three-seat touring aircraft. Designer John Edgeley at the time began the final aerodynamic design in 1974. The first flight was on December 14, 1979. The engine drives a five-bladed fixed pitched duct fan. And the Optica is thought to be the world's quietest powered aircraft. So, pretty neat there, mounting the whole cockpit assembly ahead of the fan, and the engine gives the pilot and passengers a 270 degree panoramic vision. So, pretty neat, 8K, 4K textures, got a Garmin uh, 530 in it, and a GTX 330 navigation, uh, I'm sorry, uh, transponder. It's got seven liveries, has realistic ski snow takeoff and landing flight physics, so cool stuff there. Companion add-on, fly with your choice of dog, cat, both or none. So, really, really neat stuff. I am ready to take this plane out and see how she is. So, realistic flight model by Got Gravel. So, let's take her out. Also, it says fully clickable copy with extra features and circuit breakers. Cool. Let's get to it. So, here's our plane liveries, guys. Like I said, I got seven liveries here. Got the Coast Guard one right here. Got that one right there. It's a little digi. Pretty neat, this blackout one. Let's take her and see how she is. So here we are, pilots. Look at this. It looks really, really good. Got our companion in there, Kilo, and our cat, Mato. Good looking details. Ribbons look really clean. This is the Coast Guard. Really, really unique aircraft, for sure. Spawns, the doors open. We got Stonehenge over there, made out of ice. Let's go ahead and get this thing going. So that's why we put our skis on. Uh, right here, you could change your animals, what they're doing and stuff. So cool stuff there. All right. Looks fairly simple to start. Trim looks great. Let's go ahead and move this to both. Oh, not left. Both. Both. There we go. Um. So what? External power. Then we got battery. Boom. Check out all our lights here. Garmin here, the GTX radio here. We got our autopilot here. Circuit breakers over here. You gotta get right on those things. Just 
don't hear any difference though when you shut the doors. That's a little weird. It's like a simulated sound outside. Huh. Fill valve shut off. Check her in the dark for y'all. Not bad at all. Well then, let's go ahead and get her up, shall we? Let me get into position here. Take off our parking brake. Definitely feels like she's on snow, so that's cool. Let's see. These effects. Yeah, you definitely feel like you're in a helicopter. I love the Garmin 530, so easy to use. This is pretty awesome. Whoa. Gotta be careful. We don't want to stall her. Definitely does not have a lot of power. So when I see him doing that flip right there in the uh, in the picture on the marketplace, I'm like, uh, you better be going pretty fast. So let's see. So autopilot. And then three hundred feet, four hundred feet, and then we we could always have a flight plan that would work. I'm sure just fine in this heading. Yeah, it works. Got our animals just chilling here. I don't know if, if we open a window in the air if it's going to crash us or not. I have stress damage on, so I'm not going to try that at the moment. Flies very stable. Feels good. Feels very good. Great views. Got friends. Always has great products. All right, guys. I flew around for a little bit, checking out everything. Should probably get back to focus on what I'm doing here. All right, I already got that cleared out. All right. 
But uh, yes, Garmin seems to work fine in this plane as well, which I already figured it would. Never had an issue with the 530. But overall, the plane just seems it seems fine. Like I said, stable flyer. Um, let's try our first landing in this plane. Should it be too difficult? I say that, <laughs> and right now it's like she's trying to stall. Come down here to our barely uh, visible runway. Put her on the skis, put her on the skis. Cool. When did I turn that off? Whoa, down the hill we go. And that, guys, is a fun little plane. Definitely has my approval. For sure. Uh, not bad for the price. Three bucks. Plane's fully functional. Works great. Nothing I can say bad about it. This is a great sightseeing plane. Fun to have. It's not your fast aerobatic plane, but if you like these kind of planes, I mean, I definitely think she's worth putting the money out. Everything works right out of the box, which is what I love. And you get two little animals here, so. Until next time, guys, I am Pilot83. I hope that everybody's enjoying the World Update 8 today. Happy flying out there. Fly together, guys. Stand together. Feel free to join my Discord in the video description below. I will see y'all shortly in just a few minutes with my review on the P-38 Lightning. Peace, guys. If you made it this far, thank you so much. If you like this video and you feel like I earned your subscription, please hit that subscribe button and that like button so you don't miss out. Until next time, guys, see you in the air.